Hi and welcome, it's Richard Huntley here answering your questions of the day on health and fitness, fat loss questions. And a question for today is how can we go about losing back fat without crazy fad diets? Because they're everywhere, all of these crazy diets, in certain ways, starving yourself, whatever it might be. There's no long-term results in this, okay? And the pounds before you know it start to creep up on your waistline all over your body and around that back fat area and it's very stubborn so today I'm going to be showing you some really good slides video presentation format so you can pop out your pen and paper and you can write down your notes and your tips for your takeaway tips today if you haven't already downloaded my seven day fat loss formula plan for free so over the next seven days I'll help you drop three to five pounds you can click on the link in this video here or on the link below so that's sorted let's get started so first of all we are gonna start just here at let's detox and cleanse the body first by doing this we need to eat the right type of foods get your nutrition on point before you start working out let's get your foods right so things like eating the one ingredient natural foods are good fruits and vegetables good stay away from fruit juices because it's just straight sugar into the bloodstream but when you have fruits whole fruits you've got the fiber in there as well which is going to slow down the absorption of insulin rising but without trying to get too boring and scientific let's keep it uh, nice and fresh today so and then also vegetables green veg absolutely love them stock up on them It'll get rid of all that false belly fat around your midsection but also it's going to cleanse up your body then drink lots of water things like green tea is great and you know your body's made up around about 70 percent water or so so let's not fight against nature start to keep hydrated so when you're working out make sure you um, top up on your water because you can lose your energy levels it really messes up your performance if you're not drinking on your water here's a question should you eat carbohydrates there's lots of people saying yes people saying no I say look yes and no on your days that you're working out yeah you can stock up on your carbs that's fine obviously don't overdo it and then when you're not working out so you're not using so much energy throughout the day what you want to do is stay a little bit lower onto the carbohydrates but I explain this all in my seven day fat loss formula plan as well so here's five great steps which can literally just change change the way um, that you've been working out in your mindset for years if you haven't really got the goals what you want with losing your back fat you really will want to get out your pen and paper and start jotting these down the first step is to set down your body transformation goals what you want to achieve okay whether it's on um, scales the scales of weight measure or maybe you want to fit into a new pair of jeans or a, a tight top whatever your goal is great write them down um, but the next step is so important it's more important actually than setting the goals setting the goals is the easy part actually continuing with the goals is the hard part so to, when you're about to fall off track this is what you need to do you need to write down the reason before you even get started on your goals the reason why why do you want to be able to fit into those new trousers why why do you want to achieve whatever goal it is drop the weight there's always a reason why once you find that reason why it's going to be your driving force forward to be able to you to keep keep on um, taking action really going to smash down the barriers towards your goal because obstacles are going to come in your way whenever we're trying to achieve something whatever it is in our life obstacles come in our path so you need to be able to break down those barriers and keep going forward so having that re real reason why it's going to be that emotional driver for you to do it whether it's having more energy to play with your kids you know or your grandkids whatever it is you know more um, less stress in your life if you're very stressed at work there's so many goals so whatever yours is write them down find your reason why third step make sure you control your hormones like I said before by eating the right nutritious foods Things uh, like staying, the carb, keeping your har carbohydrates slightly lower on uh, non-workout dates is definitely the way to go. And it's going to keep your insulin levels low and also cortisol. And with this, make sure you get enough sleep, seven to eight hours. And then you're going to make sure that um, your cortisol levels are low for your stress hormone. Now, the fourth step is you've got to make sure you have a proven fat burning workout plan. Just like my seven day fat loss formula, it's proven. Hundreds of people all over the world are having great results with this. Um, so what you need to do if you want to is just click on the link in this video here and you'll be able to download it for free on the page. So you need to make sure you've got that in place. But the fifth step, so important, 
every single day. Try and master every day. Take action every day towards your goals. If you're doing one thing, whether it's good or bad, how you feel it is, you're either going to be going towards your goal or further away from your goal. So always remember that whenever you're about to binge out on junk food, is this taking me towards my goal or is this taking me away from my goal? So that's going to be a great motivational tip right there for you to jot down when times get tough. So here's a quick fat burning workout. and You're going to make sure you, you're doing this exactly in this order is absolutely fine you're going to trim down the fat off of your back and overall body fat so you can't really spot reduce fat but what you can do is um, lose fat all over your body and it will reduce the levels in your back as well so you'll get a trim back but also it will be nice and toned which we're looking for each exercise here is split down one by one it's 30 seconds per exercise so it doesn't matter what fitness level you are whether you're a beginner or you're an advanced fitness athlete, you can really push yourself and challenge yourself in the 30 seconds. The first exercise is jumping jacks. Next one's the shadow spa, so punching and kicking on the spot. The next one's squat thrust, plank climbers, mountain climbers, jump lunges. Then once you've completed that set, rest for one minute and then repeat two more times. So every time you do a set, rest for your 60 seconds, repeat, rest, repeat. So that you can go for about two to three sets of this, see how you feel. You should be buzzing afterwards. Yeah, you'll be gasping for air, but that's because your body's not used to it. The more fitter you get, the quicker your recovery will be. Okay, so that's a great workout, and I've actually got my seven-day fat loss formula, all the workouts done with pictures and everything for you to copy and print off, and then you'll have your own manual at home to look at. So if you want that plan, you can click on the link in this video here or the link below. Go and watch this video again. Jot down all the notes. You know, I've given you tons of tips to take away today. And I will uh, see you guys in the next video. Or if you click on the link below, I'll see you on the inside on my newsletter. Take care for now.